Brandon, were you happy with the way John was feeling physically out there tonight? Yeah, he felt great. It probably felt a little too good. He's throwing 95, 96. Um, I just think that he was uh, anxious to get out there and just didn't have a really good command, obviously, in the first inning. Um, and then he had a good inning plus after that. But he had a tough time kind of settling down and um, a couple of hit by pitches that, um, you know, a little bit uncharacteristic. He's a guy that pitches in, but um, yeah. And then the, and then the Camden Yards homer there. Rich Dubroff, you're up. Go ahead, Rich. Brandon, what was going on with Cole Solcer there in the night? What was going on? Well, uh, he, um, you know, he threw the root ball great in Boston through two great innings in Boston, gave him another opportunity. He's going to continue to get the opportunities. I really like his stuff. Um, and I think the leadoff walk hurt him. Um, he got squeezed on a call against Judge that really changed the at-bat. That hurt him. Um, but, yeah, I like his stuff, and, and I have confidence in him. And, and um, you know, like a lot of these guys, we're going to continue to find out. And, and um, you know, tonight just wasn't his night. Nathan, you're up. Go ahead, Nathan. Brandon, is what we're seeing from Rio, is that a continue? He had a nice power surge at the end of last year. Is this a continuation of that, or is he, has, has he built on that in some way? Well, yeah, he's swinging the bat great, and um, it's not a really easy left-hander to go deep on and then line drive single after that. So um, thought it took good swings tonight. Uh, I love the way – I like the way a lot of our guys swung the bat. Though we had a really nice comeback, being down 5 nothing to a really good club, good pitching staff. Um, and to be able to take the lead there in the eighth inning shows a lot about our guys sitting here in the, you know, during a rain delay and come back out and Sebi with a big two run homer. Um, so I was happy with a lot of our bats tonight. And Charles, you're up. Go ahead, Stan. Skipper, uh, tough, not, tough way to end this one tonight. I, I wanted to follow up about Solzer. So right now, as of right now, he is the guy you'd like to, to grab this mantle as the closer. Well, he's a guy that gets right, you know, traditionally in his brief, brief career. Um, he's gotten right-handers and left-handers out. Um, that's what he did in Boston with those, those two innings uh, for the win in our first series. So he did a nice job. So I gave him another opportunity tonight. And um, our middle guys did a great job. Um, Nicky got his guys out. Flyer with one plus, outstanding. Um, Mike made it a little bit interesting, but did a nice job of wiggling it out with a couple strikeouts. Um, and just didn't happen for Cole tonight. So um, I'm going to continue to give him opportunities. Like I said, I, I do like his mix. I like it. I like the fastball split slider. Um, done a nice job getting left-handers out in his career. So in this day and age, when you got to face three and they can line line change on you, that's it's beneficial. Um, but I'm going to give every, a lot of guys opportunities just because we don't have much experience down there. Um, and so a lot of these guys haven't pitched in the end of games in the big leagues. And we struggled with that a lot last year. And we're hoping to find roles for these guys. I think that um, obviously that would be ideal. Uh, but until then, we're just going to try to mix and match the best we can. Um, we, we did a nice job up until that ninth inning. And, and um, unfortunately, uh, Judge hit the homer. Steve Molesky, you're up. Go ahead, Steve. Brandon, no way to know how it plays out. But if Salser does get the call on Judge, it goes two and two. Does that potentially change a variety of things? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a big call. Go, go from 2-1 to 3-1 or 2-1 to 2-2 two, two is, is a huge, huge difference. And I um, thought he got squeezed on that, and then he turned around and got a bad one on our end in the, in the bottom of the ninth. So uh, it was a tough inning all around. Dan Connolly, you're up. Go ahead, Dan. Hey, Brandon, that's, that's the hardest that John has thrown in a major league game. He hit 96 about seven times or so. Um, obviously, part of it's adrenaline, but he said, you know, he's tweaked some things as well. When he's looking to take the next step, how important can that be? And, and how do you see him taking that next step if he can? Well, I just think that that showed out that he was healthy. Um, you know, that, that velo, we saw that a little bit his last couple starts before in summer camp, too, where he was hitting a lot of 94, 95s. Uh, that we didn't see last year and and uh you know it just shows that that he's a real strong guy that that can really spin the ball and um 
like I, I've always said, the breaking balls are going to be the key for him um, because he's got the change up. Now he's got a little added velo. Now to have a three, four pitches, that's going to be that's going to be uh, tough on the league. And, and so I was really, even though he gave up a five spot in the first, um, he felt great coming out. We were right at 50 pitches with him. That's about was our max with him. Um, and he was right around that and felt good after. So um, the silver lining is that something positive to to build on um, for his next start.